Yo, what's up? I'm trying. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a really abstract, <coughs> uh, like centerpiece thing for a logo in Blender. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm being quiet, it's currently 1 a.m. and I live with people. So, here we go. So, this is just default Blender. The only thing I've really changed is cycles render like the it's usually on blender render but I put it on cycles render because it's just a better rendering system and I've changed the resolution and the render samples just for like a basic default template um, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the light right there and press zero to get into the camera view or actually we're going to get right here, control to zero, and then, and somehow, I'm just going to move the camera closer. And so, here we have this, just a cube, but I don't really like it starting as cube, I cubes, so shift A, mesh, and Either the UV or the icosphere. I'm gonna go with the icosphere. Make it a little bit bigger. And this is super easy. So you just go into tab, or just hit tab to go into edit mode. And then hit subdivide. Like a few times. Not that many probably. Now that should probably be good. And then, uh, hit, and we'll hit it. And then down here you'll have like an extra options mode. But then what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to Fractal and you just turn up Fractal like a bunch. You quickly, quickly get all the weird shapes and then a long normal like makes it so it can't clip or do stuff like this where it like intersects itself. So if you to turn up a long normal you get just crazier and crazier things and I actually need to move the camera back a little bit to fit it all okay or even more so as you can like already see it it gets pretty cool pretty fast but um let's say you wanted more of a like an actual <laughs> like an actual design to it so go into edit mode again, go down here, select faces, and just uh, deselect all as A. Just select this face, hit E, and extrude. And you can like extrude and make like the shape you want. I'm being very random right here. I don't have any idea what those are going to turn out being. But then, you can. <laughs> It's going to be out of frame, that's what it's going to be. Um, that will do. And select it. Go to edit mode. Uh, A to select all. And then do the same sort of thing. And it's already got the fractalization setting set. So, crap. Um, Okay, yeah, it by default it won't have all the fractalization in it, so to so just subdivide it, then and you get stuff like that, and then like it's got more of a shape, but it still ends up being kind of crazy. But right now, if you hit F12 and render it out, okay. I'm recording right now, so the renders are going to take forever. So I set the samples to 50. And it'll go a lot faster. Make sure it's still recording. High encoding. Yep. <laughs> my, my computer is not happy about this at all. And as you can see, it's just black and white. I mean, maybe this is what you're going for. Not black and white, it's kind of just like dark. Maybe this is what you're going for. If so, great. You're, you're there. But most people 
not so much. Um, but if we go ahead and insert a plane mesh object right here, and then like drag it above the like your centerpiece or your mess right there. Uh, go over here to the materials tab, hit new surface emission. Our color, I like putting it as like a nice soft pink with a bunch of strength. Maybe not a, that much, but probably like 150 ish. And then we uh, put in another plane object, rotate it around the x axis, or at least it's the x axis for me, and scale it up. And now I have like a background. Now I have like a background to it. I can add another uh, material. Just have it diffuse, and I'm gonna make it a you know, blue, like a light blue. And then what we can do for this is we can actually make it like a glass surface, like a slightly blue tinted glass. And then we render it'll look like crap for me because my render settings are ridiculously low. But you can get sort of the idea. Um, right under render, this little camera thing right here, uh, under sampling, under render samples right here. The higher it is, the higher quality it is. Now, don't get me wrong, this is very, very CPU intensive. Like, if you have some, like, dingy little laptop, it'll take hours to render. Believe you me. I usually have this set to, like, 5,000 whenever I render a, um, like, an actual album cover. And I usually have this up to 100, and that doubles the render time, uh, so you can get the full size and full resolution, but it'll take a long time. Don't think like it's just being dumb and you have to restart it. It's going to take a long time, but yeah, that's basically the idea, and I'm not, like, obviously, you can, whoops, it, you can be more of like precise with it. Like I said, I like using the icosphere and just like subdivide a few times, but it already has the fractalization. Uh, so set that to zero. Subdivide one more time. Just like go for it. And then you get something like that. And then you do another quick render. And you can get stuff like that very, very easily. So, yeah. And this is just the default. Like, there's no material assigned to this shape right now. And if I'm assigned a material, it's just white. It's, it's really basic. And this is probably the thing you'll see as the thumbnail to this video. I'll just set the render time. Like, I'll leave it everything exactly how I saw it. We'll set the render time or the render samples like 5,000. So yeah, that's uh, this video. and sometimes uh, I'm actually looking at that and it's not very great at all. So Control D or Shift D, right? Yeah, Shift D to duplicate. Um, there need needs to be one under it, just because it's got a bunch of shadows and it loses some definition. But just make sure your object is well lit and it'll look great. So yeah, that's how you do it in Blender. It, it's completely for free. Uh, then I usually drop it into Photoshop and add some words, maybe a gradient, you know, some basic stuff. But that's how you do that. It's super easy and 100% free, so, so it's a really cool way to get some album cover ideas done.
So yeah, I hope you learned something. Um, I hope it was helpful, most importantly. And yeah, if you liked it, comment, subscribe, like it, the video, all of the above, you know what to do. And uh, yeah, hope you had a great, I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.